Hi again guys, Diana Plant here with Plant Nutrition. I just did a video on how you can consistently come up with healthy meal ideas and I gave five tips and my suggestions for how you can do that. And one of the tips is to keep a food journal and to record what you're making each week. And the reason for that is because if you write down what you make each day, when it comes to making a decision of what you're gonna have for supper, what you're gonna make for a meal, you can just flip back in your journal and come up with an idea right away because it's right there, because you wrote it down. So I highly suggest starting to do that, start building a, a repertoire of recipes that you've made and creating a food journal essentially. So in the last video, I shared an example of how I keep my food journal and um, I shared a really bad example of this last week because I only actually cooked two or three times. So it didn't really seem to make that much sense with the flow of the video. So I just wanted to share uh, a couple other weeks examples with you of how I track the meals that I make and how to build that repertoire. So I have an example here. So I have this journal. First of all, this is a moleskin or Moleskine journal. This is my health tracker. So one of my spreads is I record on one side what I made and I record on the other side what I ate. So I put my meals that I prepared here. So again, when I'm going to decide what I want to make for supper or if I want to make a whole week meal plan, I just come here for ideas of what I've made in the past and what's worked in the past. So Again, I'll show it to you, so, and then I'll read some off to you. So, um, Monday, I didn't eat. Okay, I, I fasted that day. That's why there's nothing there. I fasted. That was my first fast I've ever done um, for over 24 hours. So, Monday doesn't count. Tuesday, lunch. I went out for lunch at um, someone else's house. So, again, that one doesn't count. But Wednesday, I had spaghetti squash with ground beef and a coconut milk white sauce. I had green salad, arugula, and spring mix, Mediterranean style, with lime, avocado, avocado oil, and salt for a salad dressing. On Thursday, I had farmer sausage, green beans, bacon, and sauerkraut. On Friday, I had a green salad, and then I also made keto fat bombs. And then on Saturday, I had a spring mix salad with baked cubed sweet potato and a creamy onion dressing. And then on Sunday, I had wings, artichoke dip, and sweet potato salad. So how I make the spread is, again, on the right-hand side, I go what I made. And on the left-hand side, I record what I ate in a day. And then I go down the side and I go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I just count out five spaces. And then I cut the page in half. So super simple layout, but it's definitely helpful when it comes to deciding what you want to make for supper and or if you're building out a meal plan, you can use it as a repertoire. Um, and I'll just share with you one more week of recipes of what I made um, just to get ideas and inspiration and also just to share I really do cook. I just shared one bad example in that last video. So here it is again. Here's another week. Monday, I had T-bone steak, romaine salad, Romaine lettuce salad with parsley, cilantro, dill, cucumbers, peppers, carrots. And then for a dressing, it was a blend of mayonnaise, mayonnaise, curry powder, and then a homemade ranch dressing. On Tuesday, I had a meat pie that I made with a spelt crust. On Wednesday, we went to a beef conference in town and they fed us chili and salad. I was slightly disappointed with that, by the way. I thought we were getting roast beef and mashed potatoes and we got chili. Um, that's okay though. We're thankful anyway. Um, on Thursday, I ate buffalo chicken that was shredded with Caesar salad and a baked potato. On Friday, I had shake and bake pork chops, Caesar salad, fried and baked cabbage, uh, pumpkin cilantro soup, and a chicken broth. The broth and the soup were just a food prep. I didn't actually eat it that night. Saturday, I went, uh, I went to someone else's house for supper, and then on Sunday, I had a taco salad. So I had ground beef, lettuce, salsa, creamy dressing, and cheese. 
Um, so yeah, that's about everything I wanted to share. I just wanted to again share how I keep my meal journal and how you can set up a super simple spread to create your own meal journal. So when it comes to picking recipes in a hurry or building out your meal plan, you have a repertoire on hand. You don't have to think about it from scratch. You don't have to spend 10 minutes scrolling Pinterest to find what you're looking for. You've just built your repertoire in a health journal just like this. Um, and that's all that I'll share for now. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.